Madam Chair, one point I wish to highlight is that increasing the payouts and coverage of Elder Shoe will require, in the end, higher premiums for the scheme to remain viable. So this higher cost will ultimately be borne by everyone, whether directly through Elder Shoe premiums or indirectly through tax-funded subsidies. Hence, there is a need to balance enhancements in Elder Shoe with the potential cost increases so that the scheme can remain affordable for all Singaporeans. Elder Shoe payout is one important source of payment, but it is not the only source. Pioneers, for example, can receive PG dust on top of Elder Shoe. So we'll look at different ways of helping our seniors, especially those who are disabled. Other important issues for the review include whether Elder Shoe should be made mandatory for every Singaporean. It is now an op-up scheme, as some members have pointed out and how to provide coverage for older cohorts of Singaporeans who today may not have elder shoe. Similar to how we enhance MediShoe into MediShoe Life, MOH will need to carefully review elder shoe in consultation with experts and key stakeholders. Our end in mind is to provide Singaporeans with peace of mind when we grow old, while keeping the scheme affordable for all. <laughs>